Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest 323, longest square streak in an array. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. So this is a dynamic programming problem. The the thing to notice is that it's they, they intentionally disguise the problem to make it annoying for you, right? Uh, meaning that, for example, you have subsequence, um, but also you sort the subsequence. So because you can... Because you sort the subsequence anyway, the idea that I had was just to sort the, sub the entire uh, array first and then find a subsequence in order, right? So that's the way that I did it. Um, the, you can kind of go both ways. You can go either from small to bigger or bigger to small. It doesn't really matter. The way that I did it is that I actually sort it in reverse to go from bigger uh, to go from smaller to bigger. Um, that way I can look it up without doing crazier math and what I mean by that is that um, for example if you look here um, look at this array and then you sort it backwards you have 16 8 6 4 3 2 maybe um, and I don't even I don't think they need to be unique but but yeah and in here basically it's just saying okay that's 16 right okay so that's the longest is one eight also one six one four well now you see if this is 16 and there is so then now this is a two and then this is a one and then two times two is four and so that's a three so then now your your thing is 16 four and two and of course you can in theory to to cohere to the the um the prime statement you could reword it backwards right but that's basically the idea and you can do it the other way as well it, it doesn't change a thing um like if you do it this way you go okay two uh that's one one and then four you know that there's a two is the square root, so that's a two, one, one, two, right, or something like this. Um, the, the reason why, I, uh, sorry, whoops, this is three, but the reason why I did it the, the reverse is because it's easier to do x times x versus the square root and checking that is an int and stuff like that. Um, so that's why I kind of did it this way. Um, because of the sorting, this is n log n, but everything else is o of n, so and o of n space for yeah straightforward reasons. Um, yeah. Uh, I think I don't explicitly handle duplicate values, which, you know, maybe you should have done, but but because there's only really one path, because it has to be, the previous right has to be x times x, there's really only one path, right? So there's no max, there's no nothing, so that should be fine, which is why I kind of did it that way. And at the end, you just max all the values, and of course it has to be greater than a 2, don't need a negative 1 wrong answer. Um, but yeah, um, like I said, this is n log n, uh, and then linear space after that. So yeah, that's all I have. So let me know what you think and you could watch me self and live during the contest now. Ten. Okay. Let's go longer square streak in an array. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, fine. Um Okay. A subsequent square streak, at least two. After sorting the square zero, it's the square root of the okay, so you have to sort it first. Return the length of the square longest square streak. Okay. <clears throat> because the subsequence, I think you just sort it anyways from the beginning. Um Yeah, maybe even reverse is true. at least two okay fine I think this is one anyway mm, okay and then mm, no what I want is yeah, whatever naming things is hard Three 
mon éclafoir, je suis en classe. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, sub hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, hit the bell, and um, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.